It's very usual in a political party of this size that people will disagree to agree. These disagreements are not totally unheld and not unusual too. We've seen it play out before now and this is not new. For me, the critical point is that the party must have internal mechanism to resolve these issues, harness our potentials, get our people together again oh. to speak with one voice. For us, we have an issue in focus to uproot the government of Nelson Wike, who has dashed the hope of reverse people, who has visited hardship on our people, that have robbed our people silly okay. and taken away our dignity. It's a task that must be done. In River State. There's no compromise, despite whatever will be your persuasion in the APC. We are united in that mission mm. to uproot the current government in River State and install a government that will serve the interest of our people, raise hope again, make our people smile again, stop the suit today that is pervading our land and killing our people, okay. and put money back in the hands of our people. Well, I've consistently said, no matter the parameters you choose to use to assess or evaluate the current government, you will come to the same conclusion. You might choose whatever parameter you like. You will come to the same conclusion that this government is a colossal failure. It has failed reversible in every respect and that someday it will be held accountable for their misdeeds. If we talk about roads, which the government um, prides itself as one area it has done well, mm. if I ask you one star project of this government, of course you're not going to give me an answer because there's no answer. They've told several lies and they keep telling lies and at every turn, they want to use one lie to cover another lie. I am aware that in course of the third, uh, third year anniversary of the government, okay. they will be commissioning or recommissioning the Tam David West Road. The Tam David West Road is the road that runs from Obirikwere to the airport. Now, you are aware that that road was first initiated by an Indian government. Mm and reconstructed by Governor Chimkero Timi and Mechi. And the current government has resurfaced the road, put street lights, and are getting people to come and commission the road. But, but it wasn't completed by the former government? It was 95% completed. All the underground, the key things were all done by the former government. The underground drains, the main carriageway, we paid all the compensation, we had surfaced the road, including tarring the road. And so all this government did was to provide road furniture. And they are getting everybody to come and celebrate a road constructed by the previous government. That's the height of deceit. You talked about and that's that, No, we're talking about parameters. We're just talking about road. Which they prided themselves that they've done very well. Now, the other thing they are boasting of, or they can boast of, is Okuchiri internal road. Mm -hmm. I wish you know the size of Okuchiri community. And that's all the government is priding itself that it's accomplished. The government has talked about the less than 300 meters of railway road. Now, what you need to do is to do a comparison of what government gets every month okay. from Federation Allocation Account Committee mm. and Internal Generated Revenue and how much they spend on the basics, then how much they spend on capital projects. You will come to the same conclusion that this government is robbing us silly without apology. So and they think that we have no intelligence at all. 